So now, uh, the next thing, uh, what I would, I would tell you, I would tell you typical sequence, okay? What typically you do when you have any drive. It is part of user manual, you, have to, you don't have to write it down. Uh, you just search in, in user manual a uh, typical sequence of, of uh, imaging process, but I will just reiterate it. So the first thing you do, obviously, you go to uh, <clears throat> connected drives, identify if the drive is okay or not. Uh, now, if you don't see the drive, if drive doesn't ID, there is still something to try, and this is uh, what uh, uh, many people don't even know. Right. So if, let's say, you have a drive and, and it stands, stay, wait, 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 its source drive is not responding, right? You get that source drive is not responding, busy, and nothing. You cannot do anything. But there is still an option. So the option is you can press uh, yeah. Control n and you get all these options. What is it? Uh, it's what DJI does to identify drive. As you can see, it sent, uh, by default, it sent hardware reset command, recalibrate, uh, initialize device, set UDMA transfer mode, and, and the rest is for USB. It's not USB, right? So as you can see, uh, it actually used four different commands to identify drive. Now, if drive uh, crashes during one of those commands, this is why drive may not identify. Let's say uh, drive may uh, just freeze during recalibrate command, okay? And it will not be listed. So if you get that problem, the drive is not responding, you go to this, okay? You go here, and what you do, you, you unselect everything. Okay? Unselect everything. Unselect everything, press OK, and rescan, and see if drive responds. Uh, you have more chances that the drive will ID if you unselect those commands because, again, we don't know what makes the drive unresponsive, which of those commands. Now, why we have those four commands then? Where is the trade-off? The problem is that without one of those commands, the drive may respond, but, but may not get access to data. Okay? So that's why we put it there by default, okay? Because if we wouldn't put it there, that some many drives would ID properly, but may not be imaged, like right? so, may not get access to data. So any, everything would be red or everything would be yellow. So that's why the trade-off is to try to find which command is important for this drive to get access to data while still disk ID would be working, okay? So this, this is a trade-off. You may, you may unselect everything for, for some drives and, and drive gets, gets IDs and then you start imaging and maybe you will get imaged everything, you know? And maybe imaging uh, would be working. But, but you shouldn't forget that if drive IDs, you unselect everything, you start imaging and imaging gets all the yellow blocks, you should get back, back to the, that control N, right? and try to select one of those four, or maybe some options, so that it would still ID and get access to data. We'll get back to recalibrate, initialize. Uh, and also, you probably want to try to keep on as many of those that you can, and still have it feel ready? Uh, or do you just literally go through them all or not? Usually, yeah, usually to ID the drive, you will just unselect everything. And if drive, uh, uh, still doesn't ID, then usually that's it. But very, very rare cases when I, 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 you know, I happen to, to, to saw some drives, it requires just one command to ID. But that's kind of exceptional. And, then, and there is always an exception in that recovery, right? <laughs> yeah, usually, usually like 99%, like if you unselect everything and drive still doesn't ID, there is nothing you can do. Okay, there is nothing you can do. It's not disk level issue, right? It drive level issue. But you, you may see many drives, not many, but you may see drives that doesn't ID because one of those commands make them unresponsive. One of those initialized commands may make them unresponsive. 
Okay? So that's, that's, a, that's a trick you should always remember. 